Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys to Disney World with me. We'll be going to all four parks. We got to Hollywood Studios bright and early before they had even opened because we wanted to get in line early for Rise of the Resistance. Little did we know the lines were already so long, but honestly, it was worth it. 10 out of 10, it was amazing. We actually wrote it twice. The cast members play the part so well. It's extremely immersive. There's some massive set pieces that leave you speechless, truly like you're in the movie. also rode Smuggler's Run. That was a pretty good ride as well. It makes you feel like you're flying through space on board the Millennium Falcon. You climb aboard the Falcon with six people. Two of them will be the pilot, so that will determine how bumpy the ride will be. We walked around Galaxy's Edge for quite a bit, then we had lunch before heading over to Sunset Boulevard. We saw the last couple minutes of Beauty and the Beast live on stage, and it was the cutest thing ever. I would absolutely recommend watching it. We're at Epcot. This park is filled with amazing food and so much to see around the world showcase. This was my first time riding Living with the Land. We somehow missed it the other times we've been to Epcot, but I absolutely loved it. It's so fascinating to see the greenhouse, how they grow different types of plants. Another ride that's worth riding is Soaring. They're both right across from each other in the same pavilion. Soaring makes you feel like you're gliding across some of the most beautiful places. Both rides are the perfect little break from being in the hot sun. Okay, did anyone know you can scuba dive at the seas with Mimo and friends? It's called Dive Quest. While at Epcot, a lady actually ran over my foot with an electric scooter, so I went to one of the first aid centers at the park. They were so sweet and kind there. They had someone come in and check out my foot. Thankfully, nothing was broken, just some bruising, so they gave me a wrap and some ice. After sitting down and letting it rest for a couple hours, I was able to continue walking to finish out our park day. Up next is Animal Kingdom. This park sets itself apart from the rest due to its emphasis on wildlife conservation. We went straight to Pandora and our first ride of the day was Navi River Journey. Then we went on Avatar Flight of Passage and it was incredible. 10 out of 10, the scenery on this ride is breathtaking. I honestly wish we could have rode it again. Next, we went to Festival of the Lion King. I loved getting to hear all of my favorite Lion King songs. This show is a blend of singing, dancing, acrobatics, and even a fire dancer. Then 
of course, you have to go on the Kilimanjaro Safari. You feel like you're transported to the savannah. We got stuck on one of my favorite rides in Animal Kingdom. Honestly, it was a pretty cool ride to see with all the dinosaur animatronics. It was like getting a behind the scenes look. We weren't too far into the ride, so the cast members walked us out all the way to the entrance and gave us some lightning lane passes. Everything about Magic Kingdom is magical. One of the greatest theme parks is home to those classic rides that bring back childhood memories. I could walk around Main Street USA for hours just going into all those cute little shops and admiring all the details. Our first ride of the day was Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. It's like a giant arcade game. You can spin and swivel your car to help you collect the most amount of points. After riding a couple more rides, we came back down to Main Street to watch the Disney Festival of Fantasy Parade. This is also the perfect place to see all the princesses you'd otherwise have to wait in line to see. The costumes and floats are stunning, and it's always exciting to see some of our favorite childhood princesses, no matter what age you are. <laughs> Princesses, the Little Mermaid ride is definitely a must. It's such a cute ride. After a long day at Disney, some ice cream always hits the spot. Main Street USA looks just as beautiful at night with all the lights. A trip to Disney World isn't complete until you watch the fireworks over Cinderella Castle. Thank you.